toddler milk because you guys know when you make your reborn toddler milk it has to be more white than yellow and when you make your reborn milk it has to be more yellow than white because they drink from formula and your reborn toddlers don't drink from formula anymore since they're toddlers so I'm going to show you guys how to do that with three different bottles so I have my cute little Tommy Tippy here it's a plain Tommy Tippy goes up to nine ounces and it has a nice like aqua or toy or turkey Turquoise. I always have a trouble. I always have trouble saying that word. Um, turquoise, like little collar or something like that. So, all these bottles are sealed. I have a cute little Avon bottle, which is for variety. You guys know. Um, it goes up to four ounces, right there. If you guys can kind of see, yeah. Um, and it's sealed too. And then I have my last bottle, which is going to be a big Nook bottle that goes up to ten ounces. So that's pretty good. But yes. Um, it has a little line on it for a girl, and it's also sealed. So, I have my three different bottles all ready to go. So, um, this bottle is normally, um, a bottle that I use for Carter, but since he's a, since he's a toddler, but I don't use the girl version, I use the boy version that I have. But the boy version right now is actually sealing, so I cannot use that one right now, I'm using the girl one, which is going to be for my new reborn girl when she comes. Um, so, yeah, but she's not a reborn toddler. She is a reborn baby. So, yeah, but she's pretty big. So, let me get back on track. Um, and so, yeah. I don't know what I was saying, so I forgot. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, I, I thought I just sneezed. Okay, so, the first way that I like to make my reborn milk is with flour. So, um, if you're just trying to, if you're a YouTuber and you're just trying to make a quick video, you can easily just use flour um but if you want to you know keep your bottles or keep your milk in your bottles for a very long time i would not recommend using flour because sometimes um the flour will drop to the bottom of the bottle and the water will just rise above it but if you're using it for a quick video i always use flour for my videos but when i'm doing morning routine videos i always use it with lotion so that is another way that you can um use to make formula but if you want to make formula you have to use um, lotion with, um, you get like a piece of paper and you, um, color in on some orange and that's how you make formula and just to make regular reborn toilet milk, you just use lotion. So we're going to try the first one with my Tommy TV bottle. We're going to try with flour. So let's try. So I'm going to show you guys where I have my flour. I have my flour right in here as you guys always know. So I have a big, big canister of flour. That is all ready to go. So, yes, I have a canister of flour. Right here. And only I just fill it up for water first. So let's go into my bathroom and fill it up with some water. So, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, we're just going to go into my bathroom. Turn on the light because it's a little dark in here. Put you guys right there. And I'm just going to show you guys me filling this up with some water oops there we go you guys might have a better view so i'm just gonna fill it up to maybe the five so i filled it up to around the five so it's good to go and i'm just gonna put the cap back on so, so it doesn't spill when we walk back to my room so yeah this is my bathroom and i'm gonna take you guys and let's go back to my room so we have the bottle here. I only filled it up to like five ounces. This is like Skyler's bottle that I just got for her. So I only filled it up to like five ounces. And oops, five ounces and that's it. So, yep. That's Skyler's bottle. So we're back at my desk. And so yeah, we have it up to five ounces. I don't know why it's leaking a little bit. Okay, and I'm going to just put in two scoops of flour. So you have to put in two full scoops of flour. That's what you have to do. Not one, not three, two. So I'm going to take the lid off again. There we go. 
Um, but yeah, a lot of people have been asking me, not in the comments, but um, I've been seeing a lot of people, you know, always wondering, you know, why or how you make your milk. So, yeah. So that's good enough. That was two full, full scoops. My bottle is really leaking right now. I don't know what's going on. All right, so I'm gonna just shake it up. I'm gonna get a little towel so nothing gets bad or spilled all over my desk. So, I'm just gonna wipe this off. thing that I just like to use so you guys probably can't really see me still but yeah just to make sure anything happens so I'm just gonna shake it up and look at that guys it's perfect for doing some videos but yeah it's perfect for doing some videos and that's really it so it's perfect it should be sealed yeah it's sealed I uh, just like to move it around a little bit, squish it maybe, put in a little nipple. Yep, it's perfectly a sealed bottle. So that's really how I do it with flour. So that's it. And let's move on to lotion. So I'm going to put away my flour. And I'm going to get one big bottle of lotion. So I have some lotion right here. You can use any lotion you want, any lotion really works. I'm using Aveeno today, cause that's I think my favorite lotion brand. I love Aveeno so much. Um, and don't expect to use like a small little like Bath and Body Works bottle. You need a big, 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 big bottle like this. Cause you're gonna have to put in a lot. If, you're, if you ever think that, if you guys choose to um, use lotion for all your videos, if you're a YouTuber, or if you're not even a YouTuber, it's gonna be kind of hard if you have like a little tiny bottle. You need a big, big bottle because you have to pour in a lot of lotion. That's why I only use lotion for my morning YouTube videos and things like that. That's why I like to use flour because it's just so much easier. It's like actual formula. You just put it in two scoops, you shake it up, and it's good to go instead of doing all this work. So first I'm thinking about trying doing this bottle, which is going to be the toddler bottle. So we're just going to put in some lotion and some water. So um, I was thinking about let's go back to the bathroom and get some water in here. I don't know how much I'm gonna fill it up to, but we'll see when we get there. So we're going back into my bathroom. We have this cute little bottle and turn the light on again. Put you guys here so you guys can see me. And I'm just probably gonna fill it up to maybe the six is good. Oops. Okay, so it's up to the six as you guys can see. And so it's good to go. I'm gonna go back with you guys. Okay, so now we just gotta put in the lotion. We gotta shake it up really good though. That's the one thing with lotion. You have to shake it up really, really, really good. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, so you, you guys are back with me at my desk. We have the bottle up to this and I want you guys to watch carefully how much lotion I pour in here. So I'm gonna put it here. So, since this bottle's so tall, you guys can actually see it. Okay? Alright, so, I'm gonna need a little bit more than that. So, that's about good enough. All of that at the bottom is your lotion. I might, not, I might even need more. So, let's just try it and shake it up. Get my cap on. You gotta really shake it really, really good to get all the bumps and the lumps out of the water, right? I see. Gotta shake up a little bit, tiny bit more. Uh, hmm. Maybe need a little bit more lotion, guys. Just a tiny tad bit. Maybe a little bit more. Oh, sorry. I'll just show you guys. That should be definitely good enough. Uh, so, yeah, let's see. Ooh. It's hard for you guys to see in the sunlight. My room has a lot of sunlight. That's how I like it. So. 
it. And you guys see how hard I'm shaking it? You gotta like shake it that hard. That's it, guys. So that is some pure milk. If you guys can kind of see it, sorry if you guys can't, but that is some really good pure milk for your toddlers. There's no yellow in it. It's perfect color. So, so far, these are my two bottles of milk. And they still look wonderful. This wonder, wonderful and very, very realistic. So on to our last way of making reborn milk. We're going to use some orange coloring in this. So um, again, let's just go to my bathroom and let's fill this up. But I'm going to take the cap off first. I love this apron bottle. I think it's just so adorable and cute. I really do love it. So let's get the bottle. There we go. Let's go. So I have the bottle right here. It's so small and perfect for Riley since he's a little tiny, tiny newborn. Oh. Alright, so I'm going to put you guys right here again. Sorry to go to the bathroom three different times, but I just want to show you guys three different ways. Because that's what I found, three different ways. So, I'm just going to put it up to about the four like I always do. That's at the four, so that's perfect. It's nearly near the five. So, let's go back to my room and put in this lotion and orange coloring. And it should be the perfect formula color because I tried it last night. Oops. But yeah, I tried it last night and it actually did work. It did definitely work. So we're going back to my desk and let's get this video on a roll. Okay, so here is the bottle. And I'm going to put in the coloring first. So normally I have some like coupons that are expired and I keep them for my um juice and for making juice and all that. Where is my stuff? Uh, I keep all my coupons in this little tiny bag right here. Ooh. So I'm just gonna get it out and use it. So I have an orange marker right here and I'm just going to take one a little piece of paper from my coupon and rip it. And you don't want that much coloring, not like juice. You don't want that much coloring. You want a tiny bit of coloring. So I would use like this much paper, right? I'd use about that much paper and I'm just going to color it orange. Not so much, just a little bit. That's about good enough. You guys can see that, that's about good enough. You put it in the water and don't leave it in there, just shake it around, like hold it and shake it around. You see how a little bit orange it's getting. I would kind of stop it there. I think that's good enough. And then you just gotta put in some lotion. As basically as much as you put before in the thick bottle. Um, but yeah, I would always shake these bottles up just in case. So that should be enough. We might need a little bit more. Let's see though, it should turn into some really good milk. All right, so we might need a little bit more because, you know, it can get a little too red. Uh, so you might need a little bit, tiny bit more. So, Ooh, hopefully that's good enough. I squirted it in a lot there. And you just got to shake it up all over again. So, yeah. Oh, I don't know why it's not working. I don't know if you guys can see that. But there it is. The formula. It looks perfect. Um, but yeah, it looks great. It looks really good. And you can still see the white pieces of floating, so that means you just gotta shake it up more and more and more and more. And that's good. So thank you guys so much for watching this YouTube video. Please stay tuned for more. Smash that subscribe button. Hit the bell for notifications. So you guys can be the first ones to watch my newest videos. And please write down in the comments below what kind of videos you guys like me to do. And what kind of videos I did inspired you. Have a great week and night. Bye.